DJI FPV has got a top speed of 140 kilometers an hour, 87 miles an hour in manual mode. So it should handle strong wind very well. On this extraordinarily windy day, I want to find out how it handles wind when flying in normal and sports mode. Let's get to it. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones and as you know I'm this week I'm playing with the DJI FPV. Now one of the things I like to do on this channel is to test how well they fly in strong wind. I've done wind tests on the old original Mavic Pro, the 2 Pro, the Air, uh, the Air 2 and of course the Mini and the Mini 2. Now the Mini was uh, quite prone to being blown off course and uh, DJI managed to rectify that with the Mini 2. 2 Pro can handle very very strong winds, in fact when I was flying in southern Iceland the other year I was flying in some of the very strongest winds I've ever flown in. Uh, I had the confidence to do that because I'd already done a wind test for the 2 Pro. So like I said with a top speed of 87 miles per hour in manual mode I'm hoping the FPV should handle very strong winds without any issue. But I do want to make sure that this uh, ability isn't limited when flying in normal or when flying in normal or sports mode. So today what I'm going to be doing is flying straight out into the wind and then flying back with the wind just to see how it copes flying into the wind and how fast I can fly flying home with the wind. As you can see, a bit windy, camera blowing, better get on with it. All right. It's one of the first times I've ever had to weigh down the tripod. That is a seriously windy day. We've got gusts well over 40 miles an hour at the moment and we've got continual wind speeds of around 25 to 30 miles an hour. It's a really, really windy day. So like I said, I want to see exactly how the uh, FPV handles flying straight into the wind and what sort of speed reduction we get. And interestingly, how fast it'll go when coming back with the wind. So it should be an interesting flight. I'm going to do my best to try and capture what I can on the goggles with the GoPro. Uh, we'll just have to see how we get on. Excellent. Right, at least I've got the camera view here so I can keep it in VLOS flying out over there. So without further ado, let's get it into normal mode first of all and see how we fly. Right, well, I'm quite impressed with how it holds its position in normal mode. I'm going to have to face this way, although the microphone is going to be... A... Sorry about the wind noise today. So, um, yeah, the GPS stabilisation is doing its job properly. Let's head off and see how we get on. OK, straight out to that oak tree. He's being blown off course slightly, but he seems to be doing all right. How fast are we going up to? 14 kilometers an hour, that's okay, 10 miles an hour. So, quite interesting. I've got my uh, right stick full up at the moment. He's in, <coughs> he's in normal mode, but he is really, really struggling to fly forward. So, <coughs> presumably, when the obstacle avoidance says, uh, so I'm guessing when the obstacle avoidance is uh, kicked in, uh, it's going to try and limit its pitch a little bit. I don't know. I have to look at that. We're only managing about three miles an hour at the moment, five kilometers an hour. There we go, eight, ten. So it's only doing about six miles an hour. It's a lot slower than the uh, spec speed of 32 miles an hour in normal mode. So it's got up to a higher speed now. It's doing about 23 kilometers an hour. It's going to be about 15 miles an hour. Oh, okay. Right, so without further ado,
Right, so that's good enough in normal mode. Let's turn around and fly with the wind now. Look at that. Yeah, he's only managing literally a couple of miles an hour, if that. Really, really struggling in high wind. Let's turn around and see how he copes in uh, flying with the wind. Okay, straight in. 36, 40. So he's straight up to 30 miles an hour. Looks like he is limited though. He's 52 kilometers an hour, it's 30, 32 miles an hour, 54, so that's it. Okay, interesting. So uh, he has no, no problem flying at his top speed when he is flying with the wind. And it looks like they have limited it to stop at its expect top speed of 32 miles an hour, 50 kilometers an hour. Right, next flick it into sports mode. Hopefully this will do a lot better. Up in sports mode and off we go. Wow, like a rocket. Straight up to 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles an hour. So that's really interesting. Right, better stop. Absolutely no problem achieving its top speed there. So 52 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, 80 kilometers an hour, flying right into a 30 mile an hour wind. So that has done really well. <coughs> Let's turn him round and fly him home. Be interesting to see if they limit his speed again. So, 80, 90. Okay, up to 100 kilometers an hour, so. <clears throat> Let's get him back. Poor little thing, it's really struggling. Right, quick flight back, high up with the wind. Right, let's get him down. Right, pushing my luck with the battery here and I'm the wrong side of the house. So let's get home pretty quickly. Nine, eight percent battery. Critical low bet, oh my lord, come on. Right, let's try and get him. Go on, off you get. Back here. Oh, goodness me. Oh my lord, that was a little bit closer than I'd have liked. So obviously when he goes into critical low battery, he looks like he flips back into normal mode and you lose some of the uh, extra power you get in sports mode there. Uh, glad I didn't have to go traipsing out into that uh, plowed field. Muddy, muddy old day. But look, I'm really, really impressed with that. Uh, it's basically proved exactly what I hoped, that uh, it would handle very, very strong wind uh, very, very well. Interesting that it does not seem very happy in normal mode so uh, yeah flying into the wind 
it was going right down to 10, even 5 miles an hour. Uh, sports mode though seems to be your friend in strong wind, absolutely no problem whatsoever, straight up to 90 kilometers an hour, 80 kilometers an hour, it's about 50 miles an hour. Uh, but yeah, as ever, don't be pushing that battery because when the low battery auto return kicks in, uh, you're going to lose some of that possible uh, power to, to get home. Anyway, look, bit of a crazy, crazy video today, but uh, it's a bit of a crazy, crazy drone at the end of the day. Um, still having lots and lots of fun with this and really glad I was able to uh, test it out on this very, very stormy day. So look, as ever, give it a little thumbs up, always helps the uh, video and uh, yeah, stay safe and sane. Till next time, you have fun, happy flying.